Let's say you've been with your man forever. You guys are totally in love. And then on the night of your wedding, you find out that he slept with multiple women at the bachelor party. Okay, well, you want to cut off the wedding, but you want to do it in a way that he will be hysterical and never forget it for the rest of his life. What I recommend is you need to do your makeup and everything to look like this. You need to get your makeup to look like this. Because when you're coming down the aisle, he's not going to see what your face look like. For instance, you got your veil on top of your face. They're playing the song. And then you come and face him. They're doing all the talking. Perhaps he see a little bit of what's going on under there, but he's not sure. He thinks that you're just looking so pretty. The makeup is so perfectly done that he's being a little deceived by it. But he know that he has this beautiful woman standing in front of, uh, of him and then the pastor go you may kiss the bride and he lifts up that veil he lifts up the veil and he is shocked he's like what is wrong with you what's wrong with you baby what is going on with this what is wrong with it? you just be like shut up shut the heck up I heard that you slept with four or five women at the bachelor party. So I am here to cut off this wedding, okay? I must be looking like this. That's why you went and slept with another woman the night before our wedding. Maybe I look this ugly to you. That's why I decided to look ugly and come and give you the news that I don't want to marry you anymore. This wedding is off. Yeah, I said it. It's off. I'm not joking, it's off. You think if I wanted to get married to you and I was very happy, I would come down the aisle looking like this, huh? You gotta believe me, it's off. Now walk away. Matter of fact, give me the ring. Give me the ring. Let me keep the ring. I need to go pawn this ring here and get myself back together. Mm-hmm.